Hey guys, what's up? So today we've got a different kind of video. I don't think I've ever done a magazine review before, but uh, here we go. So this is the um, April, May 1977 uh, School Bus Fleet Magazine. Uh, so on the front cover here, you can see we've got three Thomases. We've got a uh, Transit, a Mighty Might, and a uh, conventional there. So, let's see, and then the stories, we've got six new federal school bus construction standards, safety costs money, but returns dividends, accident investigation, important to fleet operators. Uh, so that's the front cover. I'll go ahead and look at the back cover real quick. So the back cover is actually a Ward ad, and... Uh, you'll see here free for all king of the road and down here it actually tells you that if you filled this out and sent it into ward they would send you this poster um, so that's pretty cool but you see that ward and you got the uh, lions there and um, yeah so I marked a few pages in here with stuff on it that I wanted to show you um, I'm not going to go through the entire magazine because it's a magazine and there are a lot of pages. But there are some pretty cool ads, uh, some pictures I want to show you guys and stuff like that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is this Bluebird ad. We've got a picture of an All-American Bluebird. Um, and it says, would you like to reduce your transportation costs 25%? Bluebird's new math, 3 equals 4, and then there's, uh, you know, text talking about their uh, newer buses and stuff like that, and then there's that picture of the All-American. So the next thing we got here is um, Riker mufflers. So it says, want the noise to stop, and then you got a little picture of a, of a bus there making a lot of noise. New Riker mufflers beat the noise codes. And you've got the actual ad for um, the mufflers. And then, again, something you could fill out and send in for additional information. And the next page, we've got an advertisement for uh, lenses. So it says Cat's Eye at the head of its class. And it shows you some of the uh, products they've got. Got a picture of a teacher standing in front of a chalkboard. And then um, got a class. And then there's a little uh, Cat's Eye um, brochure, I'm assuming. And then there's the uh, brand. So I thought that was pretty cool. So the next thing we got here is Therm Air, Therm Air Comfort System. So this is air conditioning, um, Therm Air leaders in bus air conditioning systems for over 17 years. Got a picture of a uh, bus there, not a school bus, but some kind of bus. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool advertisement for air conditioning for buses all right so the next advertisement in here i wanted to show you guys was this one so this is a uh, crown super coach designed for today's economy you got one with the tandem axles and then uh, there's the rest of the actual ad but it's pretty cool to see a ad for a crown super coach in a magazine like this um i think we all know if this ad was its own ad like a actual sales brochure type thing it would be worth quite a bit so on the page after the Crown Super Coach, we've got this right here. So it's the uh, warning light retrofit kits for um, reds and ambers. So it says Aero Flash offers a complete retrofit eight light kit for every make of bus on the market. And right there, it looks like you've got like a GM looking carpenter. Um, and then there's the actual kits. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then down here, they actually have a interior shot of a superior um, for whatever story they're talking about. And then there's an interior shot of a bluebird uh, showing the distance between the seats and the barriers. The next two pages are more ads. So right here, we've got the Cat 3208 diesel. Um, you can see right there, it says all the go power of gasoline engines at about half the fuel costs. And it says Cat 3208 Diesels for local and short haul truckers. And then there's a picture of the engine. And then the uh, Caterpillar logo down there. And then the next page is actually a Thomas ad. So 
It says, in school buses, highest quality costs less. And then it's got three little pictures uh, that you can look at right there. You've got a nice uh, Chevy Thomas. And then you got the Thomas Built Buses logo, uh, back when the emblems used to say High Point on them like that. And it says, consider craftsmanship, Thomas Built Buses. you got the little uh, bus right there. Your best bargain is lasting value. And on the page after the Thomas logo, you've got another interior shot of a superior. And in this shot, you've got dome lights on, which is pretty cool. Not something you really ever see uh, inside of a superior with its dome lights on. So the next few things I want to show you are actually a part of a uh, story they did. So at the top, you'll see where it says, Cost of driver training pays off in Nashville. Um, right there, it looks like we've got the front of a Wayne FE. I mean, an older Wayne FE, too, from the looks of it. And then down here, we've got an All-American with uh, lighted signs. And continuing, there's a picture of one of their wheelchair buses with the uh, two-door and the elevator-type lift. And then in between the story of the Nashville buses, we've got this wonderful Wayne ad. So you see this uh, Ford Wayne in what looks to be a banana split. And it says, how sweet it is, the school bus you want, when you want it. And then this is an ad for an actual Wayne dealership. So that's pretty cool. But definitely one of my favorite ads in this entire magazine is just the fact that it's got this Wayne in a banana split. And then continuing with the Nashville story, we have another picture of a wheelchair bus and a student actually on the ramp. And then here's a aerial shot of Nashville's, um, the school's fleet at the time. Uh, so definitely a lot of buses. I mean, they're, they have a, they had a very large transportation facility. Uh, over here, you actually get an inside look into one of the facilities and you can see a, um, a carpenter cadet being uh, worked on and then there's a few other buses in the background uh, and then down here you actually see a bus on the road with a rooftop number so that's pretty cool and then the next page is an actual Wayne lifeguard ad so it says only lifeguard dares to compare and you've got a picture of a Wayne lifeguard bus and then it says because only lifeguard has all of these big safety advancements and these are pretty much what's in all the Wayne sales brochures from the time, but you've got that picture inside of the body. You can see here a uh, shot of a driver's window and the Indian head logo there on the roof. And then there's one of those um, skeleton shots that shows you the different gauges of steel, which I know that's been in one of my sales brochure videos before. There's a picture of a kid outside the window. There's the famous colored seat option. Uh, not a very common option. Not a lot of people got it, but still a really cool thing that they offered. And then uh, Wayne Corporation down below. And then you can see here there's actually, it shows you you could have gotten a um, Wayne Lifeguard um, pamphlet. And then there's just um, text up at the top and on the side. Um, but this is pretty cool to see. You can kind of see how old this is. It's separated down at the bottom but it's still very cool to see this this Wayne ad because obviously when this magazine was printed you could go out and buy one of these and it would be brand new um, and what does it say that this body is literally the exact same as 45's so the next thing is a superior ad it says special treatment from the transportation specialists We've got superior a Scheller Globe Corporation uh, transportation specialist and this ad is for special needs buses so that's a superior pacemaker and you can see it's got the uh, lift obviously and a student on the lift and um, nice little little looking bus I mean it's the front end's a little odd but I feel like it's what you would expect from superior at the time so you know they uh, pacemakers are not easy to find I don't know how many they actually made but I've only ever seen one that it was parked at a flea market relatively close to where I live. Uh, but other than that, they are not easy to find. So the next little ad is, is for backup beepers. So it says, protect them and yourself with a mobile arm. You got a picture of some older buses. So you can see two Thomases. Looks like a Superior. Some Carpenters. Another, well, one Carpenter. It looks like another Superior. And then a Wayne. Um, so backup beepers obviously weren't standard on school buses at this time 
Um, so I'm sure that there were probably a fair share of backing incidents where people got hit by buses. Um, so, you know, you got Mobile Alarm over here, you know, offering their product so that way people can uh, know when a bus is backing up. Because I don't think the standard practice back then would have been to honk your horn before you backed up like it is now. But, um, yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. So this next ad is for the Allison Automatic Transmissions. You've got the inside of a carpenter with students on board, and then it says it's easy to buy a cheap transmission, but sometimes it's hard to forget it. And then the Allison Automatics. I wanted to show this because you got that real nice shot of a carpenter. Um, and then it talks about the Allison Automatic Transmissions right there. So right here I wanted to show this because it's got a little image of like a, a Ward looking, um, so the body is definitely an older Ward, but that front end you can tell where it's probably supposed to be a Ford, but they uh, didn't make it actually look like one so they wouldn't have to pay licensing. Uh, but it's for uh, steel bushings and grooved pins and you can see uh, Kaiser and that's a part ad, so I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to show you that little bus. So the next ad is uh, for GM, and it says, Be choosy about charging systems as you are about drivers. And then down here, I, I wanted to show this because it's actually got a Wayne, either a Chevy, GMC. And it's like you don't really see a lot of the shots of these buses at night. So, you know, you got all your lights on, and, and it's, it's in this picture, it's working. And I feel like you don't see a lot of that from older buses, at least not at night. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I wanted to share that. So the next thing is a uh, story with a pretty interesting little image. Uh, so it says, NY bus driver stimulates imagination of children. Flight 84 goes to distant countries, worlds, planets. And here's what Flight 84 is. It's this little image of what I'm assuming is supposed to be a futuristic school bus. Um, I haven't actually read this story yet, but I just thought this little image was pretty cool. I mean, it kind of looks like a plane, but... All, obviously I'm thinking it's supposed to be like a school bus type spaceship type deal just how based off how it looks so yeah I thought that was pretty cool and the ad next to it has a uh, Bluebird GM either Chevy possibly GMC but it's an older Bluebird and it says the bus won't move the driver can't leave in the next 30 seconds, our $299 two-way radio system will probably have paid for itself. So this is just an ad for two-way radios, which were also not a standard thing back in the day. Um, but this is a pretty cool shot of this uh, older Bluebird Chevy, GMC, whatever it is. Um, well, actually, you can see the GMC emblem right there. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty cool, and I thought I would show that as well. On this next page, we got a story about uh, school bus safety, and it says student participation key to bus safety program. Uh, so we got a picture there of some students, and then right here we've got a picture of some students evacuating from a bluebird, and that was the picture I wanted to show. And next to it you can see a uh, carpenter. So the next thing I wanted to show you was this bus seat replacement ad. So you can see it says bus seat replacement back in cushion covers. Easy. Easy Way Products Company, and then there's a picture of a seat, so they're just advertising that you can um, bus seat replacements of, I'm assuming, any make, um, but I thought that was pretty cool. On the page next to it, you actually have an ad for the Carpenter Cadet CV, um, so there's the two pictures of the cadet in different sizes, got your little um, cadet character, which I'm pretty sure... I did a review on my cadet sales brochures that have that same character on it. And then there's a picture of the cadets. So it's pretty cool to see these ads for these buses when they would have been brand new. So the next page where we've got classified advertising right here you can see it says uh, national bus sales and leasing. So for sale or lease new and used buses. Um, so that's pretty cool. Right here we've got these SBF action cards. So basically you see all these numbers on here. They correspond to different ads within the uh, magazine. And basically you would have circled what you wanted to see back about. So let's say you wanted to see back about the cadet. You would circle uh, 112 on the SBF action card. 
and then they would send you info. I'm assuming they would send that information to Carpenter, and then Carpenter would send it to you, or however that worked. Um, but these are still in here. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, there's the back of them. Now, the one thing I wanted to show here was this lettering ad. So, you can see it's got a bluebird, and it's Parma City Schools. So, that's actually an Ohio district. And if you look close enough, you can see one of the old, old triangle-shaped inspection stickers um, that the state used. I'm not sure when they started using them, but they used them in the, I think in the 60s and 70s before they went to the circle uh, inspection sticker. Uh, so that's pretty interesting, but I just want to make note of it since it's a bus from an actual Ohio school district. The next ad I wanted to show is actually for Wolfington. So you can see here it says one-year-old buses, 1976 superior school buses, tremendous savings, quantity discounts, guaranteed delivery, above average above average condition, approximately 10,000 miles, other size available, uh, 1572 passenger, Ford B700, 280 wheelbase, 3066 passenger, Ford B700, uh, 260 wheelbase, and we've got um, all the different features they've got, and there's 4072 passenger, IHC 1803 275 wheelbase, um, 2566 passenger, IHC 1703 254 wheelbase, body specifications you can see there, and then the old Wolfington um, Body Company logo. And then the last ad we got here is for the Busette. Uh, again, we got the colorful seats, which I don't think I've ever seen pictures of the colorful seats on a Busette, so that's pretty cool. And then there's a picture of a Dodge bus set, which those are not at all common. Mostly you would see them with GM chassis. And it says Wayne Corporation, and um, that's pretty much the ad. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this School Bus Fleet magazine. Uh, not something I've ever actually done a video on before, you know, being a magazine. But I got this recently and thought it would be pretty cool to share some of those older ads and, you know, stuff like that and just show off the different... Uh, school bus type stuff inside of it. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think and yeah